Hi there, friends. I found this idea on, this is Josie, I found this idea on Pinterest. Um, it was making a, instead of making a wreath, making a, um, your initial out of, um, like a wreath initial. And I thought that was such a clever idea because I want to take something special down uh, to my mom's gravesite. So I thought I would make her initial, which is not O, <laughs> it's a C. So I thought I was going to, I was going to cut this, um, because this is perfect. Or you could use the flat, you know, the white ones that are flat or the green ones that are flat. I got all this stuff at the dollar store and I picked out the colors that I wanted. Um, and the things that I thought she would like the vibrant colors of the flowers, um, like she, she really liked, she never got to go to Hawaii, but she liked the Hawaiian flowers like this one and, um, these, and then I, I threw in some of these other Hawaiian flowers that were lighter and she loved cattails. She would stop. Oh, I saw that one. That one's damaged too bad. I didn't see that in the store. Um, but she would stop at the side of the road and pick cattails. And then these were big, these leaves, and I thought they would cover a multitude of sins. <laughs> and since I'm making this for her and I'm a sunflower girl, I thought I would throw this in there. She hated roses. She always said roses were for dead people. Of course, she is dead now. But um, so the irony is on her. Um, and I'm, I, you know, she would love that. <laughs> she would just, I know she would say my whole name. <laughs> um, but I got uh, butterflies because. And the two different colors that I'm going to, in the ribbon, you know, so matching kind of. And she was very vibrant. She would wear gold and orange and um, sometimes red. But, uh, and her, her hair was blonde. She had blue eyes. So anyway, she was just very vibrant and colorful. And her personality was huge. So um, because she was a singer, um, she played she played the organ, not the piano. She did play the piano, but she liked the organ better. She played all kinds of instruments. She played the accordion um, at one time. Um, she loved animals. She loved kids. She had a bunch of foster kids, some of them that lived with her. Um, and she was, she was a frog fanatic. Um, she had dozens of them that we gave away years ago at her funeral. And I have some of her, I still have some of her frogs. They're kept in a special place. But anyway, um, so I thought I would make this and let's see how it turns out. So I'm going to work on that uh, this evening because I can't really celebrate. She had, There's three events that come in within three weeks. And um, there's Mother's Day and then her death day. And then her burial, which are a few days later, because we had to wait for my brother to come in. And then, uh, and then her her um, birthday. So it's like Bing Bang Boom within a, within like three three weeks time. Uh, it stretches from May to June, begin very beginning of June. And so it's like, well, which one do I celebrate? So <clears throat> I usually don't go on Mother's Day, um, and I I don't usually go on her her I used to go around her the time of her death and then I started just going on her birthday um, and I take a picture of what I take down there and that sort of thing so um, and this is a special occasion like I did go one year around because I graduated so I went you know in May and I went last year uh, on my birthday and I celebrated my birthday with my mom basically because my grandma's down there and her husband and two of my uncles and so forth so anyway um, checking on everything so that's what I'm doing now I'm gonna do that because I've had this stuff for uh, about two or three weeks and I wanted to get started on it because I've been so busy all right well join me on my journey as I'm as I'm creating this tell me uh, what you think of it after it's done and this is for make it Monday. All right. Take care uh, Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, If you have any other thoughts that you've done for something special somebody special in your life. All right. Bye-bye 
Okay, so here's how the finished product looks like, or turned out. I hope you can kind of still see it's a C. Um, because I kind of closed the ed end here a little bit. But here's the cattails, here's the frog. And this frog, I left, I was going to cut the stick off of him, but I left the stick because I'm going to put it in the ground. So there's the stick. Here's a few feathers here and there. Here's my sunflower. Here's a butterfly, you know. Um, I started by wrapping the whole thing in this blue burlap. And, and then on the ends, I put, you know, some flowers so that, that were showing the green still. And um, then I put the stick in right away, uh, the green frog, so I could work around him. And then um, he kept moving, you know, like flipping back and forth. So I stabilized him with the cattails on each side of him. So that stabilized him. And then he kept, then he kept going up and down. So then I had to use a glue, uh, the glue gun, see there you can really see the back of the C, um, to stabilize the bottom of the, uh, you can't really see it, but the bottom of the stick there. I didn't really glue anything in except for the feathers because I, everything, I cut it enough all the flowers I cut them short enough so that I could just stab them into the um, the floral ring basically so that worked out really nicely so what I basically had to use were my little um, I used my little scissors to cut open packages I used my glue gun to glue a couple of things down and then I use these little these old um, they're like um, they, they have got a see, see in the middle of them they have wire cutters see that right there um, right there there's those are wire cutters but these are just basically old pliers that I had um, so you can use any kind of wire cutters, um, anything that has a wire cutter cut capability to it. And I'm kind of glad I didn't have to cut the frog um, because this is a really thick wire and that would have been really difficult. I cut the O, um, the floral O, with these big huge scissors that I had. Um, if not, you can use like a box cutter, but you got to be really careful and make sure that you have it on a, a surface that, you know, like a piece of cardboard or something, um, or you cut it outside on, on the ground, um, and then wipe it off when you, before you begin. And basically, um, this burlap had, um, a piece of, um, tape on it so I just taped it I took the tape you know off of the burlap off of itself and started taping it and onto the um, the floral ring and just started you know wrapping it of course and then I ended up gluing it hot gluing it to the end and then it had open ends so then I stuck flowers into them because I didn't need it to be perfect if, it, if I wanted it to be perfect, I would have taken pieces of the same burlap and stuck them over the ends before I started wrapping. But I didn't need it to be perfect, so that's perfectly fine. I love this little frog. It's so cute because he's, he's like glass and he's see-through. So, and this, you know, I don't know how long this will stay down there at the um, cemetery because they don't, sometimes they leave things down there for a long time, sometimes they don't, so it just depends. But... All of this stuff was a dollar a piece, so I spent maybe, let's see, the, you know, everything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about twelve dollars maybe for all of it, uh, fourteen dollars for all of it, so I'm, I'm fine with that. So anyway, tell me what you think, if you like it, and, um, if you've, like I said, if you've made something similar or if you plan on making something similar, even this would be pretty for 
your um, yourself, you know, or give to a friend or what have you. I just happen to be making this for a specific reason because of, you know, I, as I explained. Okay, so um, I think even if my mom was around, I would make this for her, this crazy thing, because I made her all kinds of things um, whenever she was, she was living. And um, I, I remember one time I, I bought this denim jumper and I found a frog actually um, sponge and I painted I you know of course I sponged painted frogs on the pockets and so forth and along the bottom of it and then put other things in there I hand painted some other things on it for her and I, I got rid of it of course after she passed but um, that was a gift that I gave her. I, you know, I let it air dry and stuff like that. And then I, I took a, I have one of her jackets that I, um, made for her. It was a denim jacket and I washed it and then dried it. And then I had a stud maker, uh, and then I put, I put, uh, studs in a pattern all over the collar. And, uh, I think, um, on the, the jacket itself, the, placard and stuff like that I gave her that one year so I was always always making her stuff poor woman she probably gets sick of me making her stuff all the time but anyway that's that was life with me so um all right well thanks so much for watching and take care and uh have a good evening all right here comes Neffy she came up here and crawled on my lap hey Neffy hey all right <laughs> take care you guys bye-bye <laughs>